Based on all the geological data, we're prepared to establish a drilling perimeter by the end of the week. You realize how important this is? The site appears to be richer than originally projected. Yes, sir. That's confirmed. Oh, Gordon, get a press release ready. As soon as the... Ah! Help! Oh! Oh! Help! Ah! 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 Help! It was a good year for minor calcium phosphate. Off Long Island this morning, Godzilla once again made life difficult for local fishermen. There were no injuries this time, but damage is reported to be in the tens of thousands. He's out of control. He's hungry. What do you want me to do, send him to his room? And no television for two weeks. <laughs> you know what the green guy's problem is? No self-control. He eats everything in sight. Then you two have more in common than I thought. What? It's not like I can't live without this stuff. <laughs> Please, you couldn't go 24 hours without something sugar-coated. Could, too. Care to make a wager? I win. We go out for a little dinner, a little dancing, a little whatever. And when I win? Same. Think of it as a win-win situation. Hmm, think again. Name it. Poulet avec citron et laver mes assiettes. You're on. What did she say? Any theories regarding the missing researchers? Our investigation is just beginning, but Kamoil believes that the cause may be environmental, possibly a shift in glacial movements. Do you believe there's a chance these men are still alive? Absolutely. In fact, an expedition is headed to the area tomorrow. At Kamoil, people come before profit. Do you... Gee, they make a cute couple, don't you think? Funny. I wouldn't worry, Nick. Where's Audrey gonna find another man who can give her all of this? Hello? Nick! Oh, you're not gonna believe this! I'm the only reporter in the country with an exclusive on the Calm Oil Expedition! Audrey, they don't know what's going on down there. It's not safe for you or Animal. Animal's not going. His mother-in-law's in town and Lucy won't let him out of her sight. I'm shooting it myself. Pack your bags and grab your thermals, people. Huh? What? We're heading to the South Pole. Now hold on! <laughs> I'm just getting over a cold. What are you not? Something's not right with Comoil's environmental disaster theory. Could be a new mutation. Yeah, yeah, right. It could be a mutant. And then again, it could be that the Comoil honk asked Audrey to the winter prom, and we're chaperoning. Morning. Nick? Who are you? And what are you doing? Dr. Nick Totopoulos, Humanitarian Environmental Analysis Team. We'll be joining you. I'm sorry, that's not possible. This is a private expedition. I'm aware of that, Mr. Gordon. But I made a call to your CEO last night, and he thought it would be best if we, um, supervised. Assuming that's true, then welcome aboard. If I can be of any assistance, don't hesitate to ask. Audrey, would you like to go over the itinerary? Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Gordon. My people seem to have everything under control. Maybe I'll join you. <sighs> Certainly, Doctor. Uh, 
<sighs> For once, you have an excuse. I've never seen anything like this. Our data suggests that glacier movement caused a foundational shift, creating sinkholes throughout the area. Hmm. Looks like your sinkhole needs a manicure. Okay, Nigel should be able to give us a detailed assessment of the region's geological integrity. We'll set up camp on top of that ice formation. Our geologists inform me it's the most stable landmass in the area. Maybe the only stable mass. Oh, I'll get this one. I can get it. No, no, really. Uh, this one's heavy. No, it's not. Come on, dude. I said I would get it. Hey, these are all for later, okay? Uh, after I win the bet. Oh, right. Good luck with that. Mr. Gordon, isn't it true that Comoil has had a string of problems with its drilling sites? There have been recent setbacks. You called a potential loss of five men a setback? I'm simply stating that... Chad, why don't we finish this later? I need to talk with Dr. Tatopoulos for a moment. Excuse us? Of course. You have a lot of nerve, you know that? First you crash my assignment, then you crash my interview! Come on, Audrey. Something's not right about this operation. You can't possibly take that Chad guy seriously. Don't tell me what I can and cannot do. Stay out of my story. This can't be right. External temperature increasing to 94 degrees Celsius. Impossible. It's getting hot. Glacial integrity failing. Nigel! Head for the plateau. Go, go, go! Something's following us. Split up, then cross back. Chasing us back there? Crave it! The crate! Oh, ow. Watch it, will you? It's just a little bruising. No major damage. Yeah, easy for you to say. That thing shredded my new boot. Audrey, our geologists have some new data I think you'll be interested in. Great. But first, I want to get some footage of the creature Dr. Chapman's studying. I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job, but I don't think that hamster is going to provide any answers. That all depends on which questions you're asking, doesn't it? Nick, we talked about this. It seems unlikely that a creature of that size would be responsible for the disappearances of five men. However, my team has discovered a fault line. We weren't chased by a fault line, Mr. Gordon. Maybe that so-called hamster is a new mutation, and if there are more out there, that could explain the attack on your workers. Are you going to ignore that possibility? Look, our investigation will consider all possible explanations, but current data points to a geological cause. This guy's starting to sound like a broken record. That makes two of you. Just a few more tests to run. Give me an hour. No problem. You know, I heard most of that. Not that I really care, but the harder you try to make him look bad, the worse you look. No good. I can't access any of Nigel's data. His circuits must be frozen solid. Well, our furry little friend is an ice borer. I named him Cuddles. A hybrid species related to the Scallopus hyperboreus, a type of arctic mole. But this one has an incredibly high metabolic rate. Meaning a high body temperature. That explains how it tunnels through the ice. But the slush trails it left in its wake were huge. It's possible the ice borers travel in packs, converging under the ice to create a slush pit pulling their prey below the surface. You know, aside from the ice borers, we haven't seen another living thing since we got here. These creatures must have enormous appetites to keep up that metabolic rate. After they depleted all the local resources, they went after the com oil team. Meaning, we're next on the menu? There's something else you gotta see. The radioactivity level of these cell samples is off the chart. Not good. What did you do with it? 
What are you doing? Nick, what's going on? The ice borer's missing. How long have you been here with him? So, it wasn't Chatty Boy. Maybe not directly, but Gordon knows something. I can feel it. Well, without a live specimen, those samples are all I've got to work with. I need liquid nitrogen to preserve them. We have to go back to the plane. Send me in, coach. Sorry, you're on injured reserve. Monique and I will go. You two, keep an eye on Gordon. Uh, Nick, as, uh, as long as you're gonna be out there, could you maybe grab that box of creamy cakes I stashed behind the landing gear? Uh, you know, just in case. Eight hours to go, and counting. No sign of activity. Maybe our little friends are taking a nap. Are you ready? Just one more thing. <gasps> They're attempting to cut off our escape. Doing a pretty good job of it. More trouble. They're huge. The one we captured must have been a baby. Get the flare guns! Love to. Just one problem. They've got them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's lean, he's mean, he's a fighting machine! I'd like to thank the Emmy Committee. Go, go! second we step foot on that ice. Maybe we should call Major Hicks. Our radio went down out there. My radio operator can make the call. I'll take care of it. Let's see if we can signal Godzilla. Maybe he's... Uh... Well, according to the samples I took from Cuddles, turns out the creature's extreme body temperature isn't just the result of a high metabolism. These things generate heat on a molecular level. So, their cells have to maintain a certain thermal energy rate to survive. And I think I know just how to cool them off. We're gonna freeze a bunch of creatures that thrive in sub-zero temperatures? The ice borers can survive because their bodies are like little furnaces. We just need to turn off the heat. Man, all that high school science I took is proven pretty useless these days. We've rigged the canisters to fire a highly concentrated stream of nitrogen vapor. They'll shoot a short blast. After that, the firing mechanisms will probably freeze up and their history. Five weapons. One for each creature. That is all we have seen. There could easily be more. Then we don't waste a shot. There's something wrong with our radio. It's not receiving, and my technician can't fix it. Looks like we're on our own. Keep an eye on him. The trick is to lure these things out into the open. They're attracted to body heat, but we can't risk anyone going out onto that ice. How about something more practical? What? I wasn't gonna eat this now. I was, uh, I was just defrosting it, uh, for later. No one wants your stash, junk boy. Just fork over the hot pack and nobody gets hurt. We don't take care of those creatures soon. There's not gonna be anything left of our little island. Ah! 
what you made me do. I did not. Stop it, both of you. Monique, Elsie, let's see if Comoil has any more heat packs we can use. Did too. Did not. <laughs> You sabotaged the radio. Why? What? Is she insane? Yeah, but I think I want to hear this. I don't know what you're talking about. No. My arms are getting tired. Okay. But I was only following orders. Explain. Comoil's losing its access to resources in the Middle East. We needed this site. If it was made public that this region was too dangerous for drilling... Comoil stock plummets and the company goes under. I was told to fix anything that could damage the operation. And in the process, sacrifice lives, including your own? It's a price I'm willing to pay. Okay, then. All those in favor of using Chad as ice borer bait, raise their hand. through the ridge. Grab the weapons. Oh, yeah, I deserve this. Mm. You tell him, big guy. Uh, but, 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 but did my watch stop working? I don't think your 24 hours are up. Yeah, they are. They, they, they gotta be. A... Oh, come on, the sun never goes down around here. How's the guy supposed to know? The missing men! We found them! The dog, too, buried in the ice on the other side of the ridge. All of them got bad cases of hypothermia, but they're alive. This isn't over, Gordon. When we get back, we're gonna do some talking. What do you mean, we? This is my exclusive. I will watch him. And as for you, I know you were just trying to protect me. Audrey, I'm sorry. I, uh... You were jealous. I was, uh... jealous. You should be. I'm worth it. Bonsoir, Randy. So, I'm here, ready to pay up. I was thinking Italian. Follow me. Uh, what's this? You and I are having dinner. We? Oui? Yeah, we. Oui. Dinner out. You know where they make it for you? No, dinner in, where you make it for me. Poulet avec citron, et laver mes assiettes. Chicken with lemon. Oh, and then you may wash the dishes. Call me when it's ready. Okay. 